Hi, welcome. This is the video where we're going to install Arclix BQ tile. And it's still in VirtualBox. Of course, I recommend to install it in Real Metal, but it's easier for me to record. Now, the boot up session is either in BIOS, which is a colorful one. You choose the line you want, and um, normally people use the first line, but sometimes it happens that with hardware, it's better to choose something else. And when you test this out, you'll notice, okay, in my computer, I need to boot from that particular line or even change it. I need to type something behind it so you can and then boot it with that extra um, added parameter. So that's one thing, the bias thing. And the other one is UEFI'd, so a newer kind of boot up. And that has five lines and you need to be at the first line where it says Arch Linux. There you boot. And then we all end up in the same environment. In this case, we're going to install Qtile. Now, maybe you notice, but this is our standard XFCE. So a toolbar and an XFCE element. Right, let's continue. So this is still the XFCE um, pass through. Well, we'll see by next week if we can end up in Qtile itself. So the tiling winner manager, that's what this is. But for now, we just keep continuing like we used to in the past. We we'll run Gparted. We try to remove, well, try, we just remove. That's our advice anyway, to remove partitions with a uh, clicking and activating and at the end say apply and everything looks then like this. Then it's up to us to run Calamaris, but let me show you this little new icon, which is, is there as a reminder of Arch Linux elements. Some things just conflict with each other. You can't install this one and this one. It's or, or this, or that, or is, or that, right? So that's a reminder for us. This is 3.2.20, which um, makes me think that I should uh, mention that this particular error may occur at the end, the very end, which is benign, which means, yes, you have successfully installed the operating system and you need to reboot. That's it really. So I've been told that's solved in the next version of the free and very capable Calamaris installer. If you want to know what all this is, um, go and have a look at how to install Arch Linux and how to install Arch Linux D. In those two videos, I've been very thorough and there are also videos uh, about the older software that we're now, now going through so there are lots of stuff in here we also made our own arco linux team viewer that just works out of the box that's why it says arco linux team viewer so the pacman minus s team viewer does not cut it you need to do more stuff than that so um all, all fun and games but no frustration that is typically the goal Development, choose whatever you like, but some of these things will conflict, these two guys. It's written down here. Now Calamaris doesn't care about conflicts. He, he just he will just install one of the two, right? So these two as well, it's either this one or that one. But um, the first one will win and the next one, well, it will get the conflict and it will just move along. Another thing that you should know is it should uh, you should have internet. So something red down here just means there are updates, meaning I have internet. So whatever I select here will be installed. If there's no internet, well, Calamaris won't um, crash or anything. It will just skip it. No internet, no fun. Then you say later on, sudo pacman minus s, breeze and so on. Next, games. All kind of games that you can install straight from Calamaris. Utilities, lots of them. And each time you select something, of course, the longer will the installation time be. Obviously, it's not on the ISO, it's coming from the internet. So, slow internet, ah, then it will take a little bit longer. Arclinx development, this is for us. So we just have to press one tick here, one, one click, and then everything is installed, what we need to develop. That's for us. But of course, you can use it as well. I'm living in Brussels, Europe, so time zone wise, that's correct. Belgian, choose your keyboard and you have three options here, plus encryption, which means six options and seventh option, 
manual partition and you have, if you have already an operating system on there you can uh, select here side by side I think it's called so there are more options than we're showing here now chose the manual one my mistake no swap next and we go for the rest and you decide whether you want to log in automatically or use the same password for administrator account it's all up to you you decide there and then we wait right um, the more stuff you selected around 80 percent you'll say it died on me no no it's downloading a lot of stuff all the stuff you selected and it's also installing all the stuff so just walk away and um, come back and see the screen done and then reboot pausing the video here and finally then everything is installed all is done it says we start now done and then you boot up and then of course you are working in something that you may never have seen i don't know but it's going to be a little bit different all right mouse click will it do something is there a menu available right so let's get rid of this first super q super a one of these two guys is going to work because azerti and qwerty right but normally it's the q because of the quit and we have some workspaces up here you do a control t control alt t sorry super shift enter all super important things stopping super x also important thing <laughs> super x right so super q super q control alt f firefox and off we go i would always like to end with this little tip we are spending a lot of money time sweat energy into making all these articles and qtile has also a lot of articles here so if you're stuck with qtile i would just binge watch all these things because it's super interesting um, to well find your way around into a desktop manager but in a tiling winner manager i really would have uh, if, if if only i would have had guidance three years four years back in i3 and not end up in a black screen where i thought what to do next so there's a lot of uh, knowledge in here use it all right have fun